So thanks for saying. But well, it's uh, it's one o'clock, and um, well, for the people following me on Facebook, or maybe for the ones that are now watching but don't follow me on Facebook, uh, let me explain to you why we have a question time. Um, lately, I had some questions from people that were interested in like how how is it to be a uh, driver for Team Asia or what is it to be a professional gamer what do you do in real life do you have time for friends do you go out uh, do you have a girlfriend what are you interested in and all those kind of things came by and I was like yeah I can answer them for everyone separately but I can also make a stream and just make those people ask the questions inside the stream and let me answer it save the video and ju just put it on the internet which uh, makes you uh, know more about me and for me it's easier so I don't have to answer the same questions over all the time so it's just uh, any questions that pop up it can be about any subject it really doesn't matter sports girls my interests um, why track mania whatever you like to ask you can ask my age <laughs> if I shave myself yes I do um, just everything so um, I think I already saw a question popping up in the in the chat oh and by the way you see a YouTube movie I have some music on the background a movie so you, at least you have something to watch instead of my head going left right all the time and uh, yeah let's start with uh, with the question time am I sure <laughs> yes I am Chris Chris is uh, my old school leader from six years ago amazing huh? so yeah I saw uh, I saw a question let's see it's real is Trackmania United Forever Star Edition the paid edition of Trackmania Nations? Can I still play Trackmania Nations service when I bought Trackmania United Forever Star Edition? Um, yes, you can. The Star Edition is just an extension of the normal uh, Trackmania. And the Star Edition, the only difference between the Star Edition and the Nations Forever Edition is that you have more Nadeo maps. Um, and I think it's free you don't have to pay for it but I'm not sure about that I thought it was an update sometime when it just came out it was an update but it might be possible that nowadays you have to pay some euros for it but it won't be much um, but I think it's just an update and the only difference between nations and star is that you have more Nadeo maps so you uh, you have the white flag, blue flag, uh, all those the red flag, Nadeo maps, and you have the star edition, and the star edition has white, blue, red, and black as well. So just more Nadeo maps. Ah, well, it's 15 euros. Maybe I can check it as well. limited edition <coughs> I actually never played the star edition I think I heard of it but I'm not so into uh, buying new stuff <laughs> so yeah and my microphone is at least activated yeah um slash AFK um, you you really want to play Trackmania Nations forever I mean you don't want to go to Trackmania 2 maybe Trackmania 2 is 5 euros and you don't have to write uh, slash AFK either and if you maybe buy Trackmania United which is probably cheaper than the Star Edition um, you have more environments and you don't have to write slash AFK so you might want to look at Trackmania United forever as well. I think it's cheaper than 15 euros. Probably. So yeah. Then.
Yeah. It's very cheap. I uh, I think I got Trackmania 2 Stadium for 5 euros. Yeah, it's real. I have Trackmania United. Um, it's uh, It was at that time 30 euros, I think. But it, it's already years ago, so it's it's way cheaper now. And also Stadium indeed is very cheap. I got it for 5 euros and that was even 50% off again. So yeah. Any more burning questions? Any more burning questions? Else it will be a very short stream, I guess. I wrote some things down as well. In case people ask them. Yeah, probably you want United. I guess the Star Edition is uh, it's more expensive. <coughs> I think Chris already knows quite much. But yeah, let the let your imagination uh, come to life, live, live, there. Ask whatever you want. Just what pops up in your head. Don't be shy. <laughs> There's no need to be. If I uh, think a if I think a question is way too personal, um, which has to be a really weird question, I guess then I won't answer it. But uh, I can actually say I probably answer all questions. So uh, whatever you like, can be everything. Do I have pets? Yes, I do. Uh, at home we have two dogs, Max and Monty. I'm not sure if I have a picture of them. But we are having two dogs in the family. Um, and the names are Max and Monty. Uh, their, their race is Drentse Patrijs. I don't know if it's familiar with you. Probably it isn't though. Um. Let's go. They really are some uh, some cute pair of dogs. Ah, yeah, here we go. Uh, this is just a picture which is made uh, recently. We have two dogs. This is Max. That's Monty. Uh, well, yeah, that's some weird person. Um, those are the dogs. You might recognize them by race. Uh, and we also have fish. We have uh, fishes as well. Koi carpus, named in Dutch. Uh, they are quite big. <laughs> and do we have more? I don't think so. Just dogs and fishes. My dad loves fish. Fishes. And they are not so hard to uh, to care for. So yeah. <laughs> Easy also. Also, my slippers are dogs as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to be honest, talking about slippers, look at what I have now. <laughs> I get them on at the moment. Yeah, really hot. I, lo I love having hot feet. So, I actually don't know if all viewers can write something in the chat as well, uh, which might come in handy when asking questions, of course. Um, are there any upcoming teams or players? You have may have noticed. I may have noticed. Um, well, first, uh, first I'll go into the teams. Um, talking about teams. Is the stream still working? The video isn't. Uh, talking about upcoming teams. Um, I heard of a team named Vintage, and I also see some Daddy Mania records lately in. Uh, 
on, on our tournament maps as well. And I know the leader of Vintage is uh, Swift, if I'm not mistaken, and I know Swift, he's a Dutchie as well. Um, and that's a, a recent team. Uh, and I'm quite curious about how they are going to perform, because I don't really know the players. Uh, but at least it's a new team, which uh, which is fun. So there are still new teams coming. It's not only Acer, BX3 and Dignitas. And talking about players... Um, I can't really say if... Uh, about, for example, what other teams think about certain players. Um, but if I have to uh, look around, it's... I, uh, hmm. It's a really good question. Of course, we keep our eyes open uh, about talents. And for Acer itself, it's not only the driving that is, that's important, but also the character of the person. Um, yeah, we, we want someone in the team that isn't just fast or isn't just a good Trackmania player. We also want someone in the team that can uh, stand in front of the press or is good to other people, not raging all the time. And you know, there's a search of image for Team Acer and they want to keep it. And we once looked, and I think it's a, it's a compliment, uh, compliment for this guy. Of course, we keep our eyes open. Um, and there are some really good players which may get a trial uh, for the upcoming TMM, of course. At least I don't know if Acer will do that, but uh, I know maybe 3D Max or Dignitas will try out some uh, some people. And I can't really tell names, because if I tell names, uh, people will get... Uh, will maybe be privileged. And I'm not sure, so if I'm not sure and I'm going to tell some names, it's... Uh, Maybe false hope. Um, I do. I, I can say that RTA lately broke up, and of course, people of RTA are uh, are interesting for the professional teams because they are uh, yeah they are good players. And we were looking to Wally or Blaze. Wally is now in uh, Dignitas. Blaze is uh, trial in uh, Team Acer, and we choose. Uh, yeah, we choose uh, to give Blaze a trial. Just because of uh, him being nice, actually, and well, uh, some people prefer preferred bliss. So. Yeah, it's it's a really good question with a, with quite a difficult answer because there aren't really many new teams coming up. Um, I only know Vintage as a new team, and considering players. We always keep our eyes open, but it's the most important thing is if you want to if you want to be in the eyesight of a professional team, just train for the tournaments and do your best. Because Frostbird streams a lot, I stream a lot, Tama, everyone streams and we also look at other games to see wh which player is performing good and which ones aren't and we just follow them for a time. So always try to do your best and maybe we, uh, we, we will reach you someday. Your default. I think uh, Trill needs one uh, one euro forty-five. <laughs> Ao default. Uh, I think you already saw Facebook, but it's a uh, it's a uh, question time as well. So if you have burning questions, just uh, just ask them. In game, out game, real life, whatever. Yo, shark. Welcome again. <laughs> Let me check uh, if the camera is still... Uh, ah, there we go. The camera is turned around. Already saw that in front of me. Stupid camera. It's a 
bit of a weird camera. So, that's better. Well, I hope that actually was a, was kind of a quite quite of an answer on your question. Um, I hope you understand. I can't really tell names uh, because if I do, then people will be privileged with and and they may know. Oh my God, they are looking at me. They are following me, and of course that's not what we want to do. And the same counts for dignitas or BX3 leaders. Um, I want. I I I also don't know what. BX3 or Dignitas is looking at, but we do keep our eyes open always. And most of the time, we keep our eyes open at tournaments to see how people perform. Because that's what it's all about it's about the, the, the matches and the tournaments. And I, we don't really care if you can drive a world record. It's nice you have a world record, but it says nothing. It's all about the matches. Okay, very nice. So I'm quite sure Default has some questions. <laughs> he always has questions uh, lately on Skype as well. I mean, so yeah. Okay, great. Question also. So maybe about controls or real-life girls. That's an important uh, subject, of course. Study, school. Sports. How I turned to be an Acer guy. My trial period. Uh, my start of Trackmania, which actually uh, started with someone watching the stream right now. See Chris. So he knows everything about my start in Trackmania. Why I'm playing Trackmania. Why racing games. Why not shooters. Just. Think whatever you like. I'm sure some uh, some brains of you are uh, are having some questions. Uh, ah, yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't saw that one actually. Um, that's a question many gamers uh, get. Many professional games. Your parents play an important role in your gaming career, that's for sure. If your parents don't support you in your gaming career, it's very hard to reach the top. Um, in my in my situation, my parents do support me now. Uh, when I started gaming, at least gaming on this level, so going to lands or events, um, my mom said, "Yeah, well, well my mom wasn't so." Uh, such a fan of it. My dad didn't care. I always got the, the car of my dad or my dad even brought me to an event and he drove back again even if the car drive was three hours. Um, so yeah my dad uh, just brought me everywhere and he supported it which is really amazing and he really likes it. I play on a high level um, and my mom had some problems because for my mother uh, school is very important and when you are a professional gamer, you have to find a combination between school, real life, and gaming. And it takes really everything combined takes a lot of time. And she said, "Well, as long as school, as long as you don't fail in your school, you can go everywhere, everywhere you want. But if we notice that you will fail in your school and gaming has an effect on your school, we won't allow you to go anywhere." So on the one hand they support me, especially my dad, and on the other hand they didn't. But since I uh, I do good on school, uh, that's that's no problem at all. My mom supports me as well. If I have to go to France or Poland or whatever, they just say, "Yo, have a nice time. We see you later." But my mom has always some things with school. Don't forget your school. <laughs> Guess every gamer, uh, ev every mom has a little bit of that. <laughs> my dad is like, uh, he is proud, and my mom as well. But she thinks of school as well. <laughs> so, I uh, that's the, my personal answer, awesome. and I think every gamer should have parents that are uh, that support you. Are you a false learner or a guy who needs to train a lot? Um, it's already answered in the in the chat. 
I'm definitely a fast learner, yes. I don't need much time to learn a map. Um, I really don't know why or how it happened why that I'm a, I'm a fast learner. But I, uh, I learn maps very quickly. Yes. It, uh, it doesn't take a lot of time. And that's, uh, that's good for me as well. Because if my training doesn't need a lot of time, then I can spend time to university again. Or real life with friends, so uh, I don't have a girlfriend. Does your mom play Candy Crush? That's a good question, but I know the answer. No, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely doesn't. Um, I actually don't know if she plays games on her telephone anyway. Uh, maybe Word Fate, if you guys know that. Probably the Dutchies do. Um, even my grandma plays word food or she sometimes play a game as well um, but my mother is not really a, a gamer time so to say <laughs> she doesn't uh, she doesn't game a lot uh, who do you think is your fan number one what a question um, yeah, the camera is, uh, is not listening to me today, so make me, uh, make me listen, make, make him listen, it's a bit, it's a little bit turned, ah oh, well, it works, uh, who do you think that is your number one fan, good question, um, and probably, uh, you also know the answer yourself, um, of yeah, of course. Um, when getting more popular in game or something, you get more fans. Especially after ESWC, people start to uh, to notice you as well. Other people, strange people you never heard of, um, they try to reach you or try to Skype or whatever. And um, of course, there are people and fans that I don't know, but still follow me on everything I do. And I have some people that I know uh, are fans, but I know them as well. And yeah, default, you are one of those. You already knew the answer. Um, you really, uh, you really notice everything I do in game or out game. Um, also, only one likes to follow me a lot. Um, of course. Uh, Let's see, who do we have more? Fans. Uh, I, I don't... Yeah, well, I guess the people that, that follow me on Facebook are, are like... It's kind of fans anyway. It's weird to say fans. Like... Uh, I don't really feel like being uh, being someone you can be a fan of, but apparently it, uh, it happens. I still see myself as a normal... Uh, a normal gamer. If anyone has a question, if he's bad or good, noob or pro, I just contact him. If he likes to Skype, if a noob likes to Skype, I just turn on my Skype, give my Skype, and we just have some fun. Um, which is the most important aspect in, uh, aspect in gaming? Having fun. So, um, my number one fan, yeah, well, I think there's not really a number one fan. I think there are many people that like to, uh, to follow the things I do. But there are some people that really, uh, really pop out, yeah, like you, default, <laughs> and only one as well. Uh, do I have fast times over consistency or reverse? Um, fast times over consistency or reverse? Fast times over consistency. Um, I think you mean that if I have to drive consistent, if I if I have to drive consistent, if I drive fast times consistent, or like the normal times consistent. Uh, if that's the question, then that depends on my training. Um, if I really train maps very good, uh, or if I have a good day, I can really drive consistent. Um, in less than 0.3 from world record um, 
which seem wait, well, which is quite fast. Um, but most of the time, in most matches, uh, I'm around 50 hundreds above the world record each round. Um, between 50 hundreds and one second, I guess. Uh, depends if I make a mistake or not. Uh, so yeah, I think it's uh, it's around 0.50 most of the time. And if I have a good day, it's around 0.20 of the world record, 0.30 of the world record each round. And if I have a really bad day, I just crash everywhere and it's like plus 10 seconds. <laughs> That's... Uh, you, you know, everyone has his bad day sometimes. I had one lately, I think two, two, three weeks ago. Just before Christmas, I had a really bad match. I couldn't focus, I had a bad day. Some personal things were uh, were happening at home. and I just couldn't, couldn't focus. Uh, if she does... <laughs> yeah, yeah, she might do that as well. Um, I do have some things to do at home. Um, especially for the dogs, I have to do some things, but I uh, I don't really have to do dishes, laundry, or wash. Uh, wash my motor. Yeah, well, the motor is my own thing, so it's my own choice if I have to wash it or not, of course. But I don't have to do things before being allowed to to play the game. And I uh, hope my, my mom isn't watching the stream, because uh, this might bring her on, uh, on ideas. <laughs> Let's not do that, okay Marcel? <laughs> not good. Who do you think is the best Trackmania player at the moment? Carl, Carl Jr., Frostbuehler or someone else? Good question. Um, yeah, I, uh, I think there's not really a, a, a doubt about it. Uh, in my eyes, um, I think Carl Jr. at the moment is the best player there. Um, yeah, I saw him at ES ESWC performing as well. Lately, he won the Alienware Xmas Cup, and he's winning. Uh, he's winning a lot lately. And I think Carl Jr. at the moment is the best player uh, in Trackmania. Um, but I also think of course you have the popular names like uh, Kayan and Frostbeule. Um I think at the moment uh, if I have to make a if I have to choose between Carl Kayan or Frostbeule I think I uh, I think Kayan is at the moment a little bit better I also know Frostbeule has uh, has pain at his uh, at his wrist which makes it difficult to play for him sometimes so, uh, but well, the, the number one player at the moment in my eyes is uh, is Carl Jr. And uh, of course, I I would never say my own names on questions like that. Um, so I exclude myself, and I just I, I will choose Carl Jr. And else I wouldn't put myself on one as well. It would be Carl Jr. in my eyes. Let's see, default AT gaming. I do whatever. Koons, buying Trackmania United Star Edition now. It's the same price as United in my country. Also buying Trackmania too. Um, did you do, do you want to buy them from the internet or do you want to buy them uh, by Steam? Because I think the prices on Steam are lower, but I'm not sure. And yeah, well, if they all have the same price, Trackmania United Star Edition is the same price as United. Yeah, well. Of course, then I would go for the United Star Edition, if it's the same price as United. Because they have more for the same amount of money. Uh, buying Trackmania 2... Well, you know, the whole pro scene is going on to Trackmania 2. Um, because of all the tournaments and events being played in Trackmania 2. So you might want to think about that, that when you, play the, when you buy a game, do you want to play with uh, with what kind of community. I think more people are playing Nations still, but all the pros tend to play Trackmania 2 now because of all the events, and they just play Nations or Forever for fun. The best 2 versus 2 team at the moment. Wow, that's a, that's a good question. The best 2 on 2 team. 
Um, I don't know uh, the the two on two teams on ESL on the ESL website. I can only say uh, if if there would be a two on two tournament, and I have to choose two people uh, together from uh, from one team, like two of Dictitas or two of Acer. I think the best team. Um, would be uh, let me think. Call Junior Kion would be a very good team, and I also think that like uh, if you can count spam in as well uh, for Team Dignitas. Talking about others, um, I think from Team Elite, uh, Renu is a very good player, and I if I have to combine Renu with an Elite guy. It would be very hard. Um, I don't really know all players of Elite. We we do played last week against Elite, or the week before. Um, but if Renu is trained, he's really good. And I don't know. Uh, I don't really know another really good player. If I see the name, I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, that one. And well, then we have Team Acer. Whew. If I have to choose two people of Team Acer that has to win a 2 on 2 tournament, I would go for... Um, yeah, Royal, if trained, is really good. Royal is an example of someone that doesn't learn very fast. Um, not a fast learner. But if he's trained, he's, he's really fast. Poker, on the other hand, is really a fast learner. Um, and I think that Poker and Royal, indeed, is a very good combination. I also think that uh, which we did on ESL sometimes is me and Poker or me and Royal are some very good combinations and of course we have uh, Frosty mm, and I think Frost and Royal mm. in, in fact you can combine almost everyone it's a, it's a really a hard decision. But Poker and Royal, of course, are a very good 2-2 two two team. But uh, I think everyone... Uh, all, if you, you can combine almost every Po with another one in the team. As long as they, uh, they try to, uh, to get the backs of each other. Like, if one crashes, the other one needs to know to, to, to not crash. Or something like that. Just you have to support each other. You are a team and you are just with two people, so if the one crashes, you have to know he crashed. So you can drive safe or try to uh, push for the first place. And indeed, Lean, Carl, Yo Yo, Toto, you know, all the French guys are really fast as well. So don't forget them, indeed. And Xenogear is inactive, so too bad. Buying on Steam. Um, well, if the prices are the same on Steam, I'd say you. Uh, you really have to buy United Star Edition or Trackmania 2. Uh, Trackmania 2, because actually the scene, everyone is going to Trackmania 2, at least the pro scene. I guess the beginner scene or something. Most people like playing Nations more than Trackmania 2. Um, and if you have to choose between United Star or United, and it's the same price, then go for Star Edition, that's for sure. Who is the best player all time? Um, the best player of all time. Wow, I, uh, I'm, I'm playing uh, for five years now, one year inactive. So actually six years, but one of those six was an inactive year. And uh, the best player of all time. That would be... Uh, I, I, I think Kayan or, uh, or Frostbeule. You know, they are getting older, but um, still, I think Kayan or Frostbeule, considering everything they did, all tournaments they played, everything they won, are definitely two of the best players of all time in Trackmania. And they are still in game. Which makes my decision uh, for Carl 
or for uh, Frostbuller and Kayan. Some players uh, can be really good, you know, Xenogear, fantastic player, Dutchy as well. <laughs> but, well, he stopped playing and that's, uh, that's too bad. And I think if I have to choose someone that's uh, the best of all time, it's really nice that guy is still active. And Kayan and Frostbuller really got a reputation and they are both still active. Driving or leading a team. And that really counts. So they are still supporting the game and they really got a nice uh, record of what they did. So I think those uh, are the best of all time. And uh, Dinu, <laughs> or default I mean, on questions like that I won't say my own name. I'm not someone that, that says its own name. Um, so that's, that's up to you. If you think I belong there then it's your decision, not mine. Uh, Renu and Safram. Ah, of course, Safran is in the lead as well. Yeah, I think Safran is a good player. Um, the question is if he can keep up with Renu when they are both trained. I'm uh, and I'm I I I don't know if I uh, if I can be sure. So it's a good one, Renu and Safran. I think that is a good combination. Yes. If uh, if we talk about team elite, I think that's a good combination, for sure. Frost and Koons, Joey, Joey and Koons, yeah, that, that's a boss combination, Joey. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, let's go for the Joey and Koons as uh, as a two on two tournament, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Or uh, or uh, yeah, well. Cookie and Coons or something. <laughs> Some mouse control people. <coughs> yeah, let let me uh, let me uh, give a question to you. Like uh, Deuces is saying, type one for Kai and type two for Frostbuller. Uh, if you have to choose who's the best player of Trackmania, I said it's Kai and Frostbuller. Um, at least if if we have to talk about. Uh, like the legend or people that played the most have the most reputation or records on their names and are still active it's Arkai and Frostbuller for me but do you think it's uh, Kayan or Frostbuller or both and you can type one or two indeed or just write the name ah exactly uh, I forgot about that upper state Safran indeed beat Kayan with a good performance and I know Kayan was trained because I think he had daddy one um, so it's really good you remind me on that one which made the decision uh, a bit easier you know I, 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 I played Trackmania for a very long time but I just don't know exactly how all people are driving um, I also know Safran for a long time but not very good uh, but Renu and Safran like I said would be a very good combination um, both trained, it, it, those two are really going to be a, a pain in the ass, that's for sure. <laughs> so, do you use keyboard or pad? And if pad, which one do I use? That's a funny question. Um, I started playing with keyboard, uh, which almost every player does. Um, I think I played keyboard for uh, out of the six years I think three years I play with keyboards or something or two years two years keyboard um, yeah let me think yes the first two years I played with keyboard um, after one year I became professional I, I reached a professional level I still played with keyboard and after two years I had my inactive period and when I came back uh, we had a PlayStation 3 at home and I was like yeah I just wanna try out a PlayStation pad because we don't have another pad so I just took the PlayStation 3 pad I installed some programs that you have to use and now I'm playing with pad for three years I guess no? and it's a PlayStation 3 let me check the stream no, in front of the light uh. It's a PlayStation 3 pad. That's the one I use, a DualShock 3. Um, let me close this uh, thing behind me. 
It's really light. So, maybe it goes up again. Oh well, we'll see. If it goes up again, I will uh, close it down again. That's no problem. So yeah, I'm using a PlayStation 3 pad, and you have to download DS3 Motion Enjoy for it. DS3 Motion Enjoy. Um, I will make a, I will make a stream soon about how to install your PlayStation 3 pad on your PC because it isn't done like very easy. One, two, three. You have to uh, download a program. It, it took me some time before I. Uh, could play with a PlayStation 3 pad. Playing offline or online? Uh, for me, definitely online. I actually, with all games I play, I want to have an online option. Uh, also, I play Modern Warfare. I've never played, or well, maybe one time. I, th I think, yeah, one time. I played offline one time, maybe for 15 minutes, and then I go go online already. Um, also on Trackmania, when starting the game, I went online immediately. I never play offline. I always train online, I always play online. So uh, definitely online games for me. Yeah. And let's see, we have two ones, Karyan in, in front of Frostbella. Yeah. They had many fights in the past, Karyan and Frostbella. <laughs> Maybe soon we will get another Kai and Frostbird in the playoffs of CPS, which will be played in January, February, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, many people use the Rumble Pad as well. And I only know Burgi that plays with an Xbox controller. <laughs> you might want to use a, uh, how do you call it? How do you call it? It's, uh, it's like a, a, a stick, that stick that you can turn left, right, and up there. I don't know what it is. Left, right. That that kind of dildo on some plate, and you can move it. <laughs> Stupid thing. Um, do I know Pasco's IBC map? Nope. I have no idea. Oh well, you. Users, you probably know the the program better than I do. I only use uh, one setting. This is the program, by the way, and I always I I don't know. I always use this what this setting. Um, probably only Dosis knows what I'm uh, I'm showing here. It's only this DX default PlayStation 3. Indeed, you can go Xbox emulator custom one two. And these are the buttons with the controls. So, uh, yeah, I just click on enable, and then my pad is connected here. It finds my pad. So. But I will soon make uh, an how to install your PlayStation 3 controller stream, and I'll save it. I did one already, but I forgot to uh, to save it. Oh yeah, Frost is playing with Xbox 3 as well, or <laughs> Xbox 3 controller. Wow. An Xbox controller, and he has like 15 controllers at his home because he needs to change those uh, sticks <laughs> in so many times. <laughs> so he really has a lot of pads at home. So those are uh, many questions about the game or controls. Let's see, any uh, any more questions? Maybe personal, maybe game controls. My controls on the pad. Teams in game about Acer itself, ESWC. But yeah, Xbox controller. I, I, uh, at least in my eyes, I don't like an Xbox controller because I'm just so used to a PlayStation 3 controller, and the Xbox controller is uh, is larger, and the stick is on the upper left side, and I don't have really big hands. <laughs> So for me, it's uh, yeah. I have normal hands, like uh, you know, I can I can easily reach everything on my PlayStation pad. Like that's no problem. Um, but I don't like the stick on the upper left side of an Xbox tree, of an Xbox pad. 
Uh, so that's the reason I don't use an Xbox. And we don't have an Xbox at home, so I don't want to buy a bad. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes some weird page pops up if I open the program. <laughs> Do you play a music instrument or create songs on PC? Um, I don't create songs on PC, neither do I play a musical instrument, but if I have to choose an, an instrument, which I maybe would have played, um, I would think I'd go for the piano. Uh, the reason for to choose the piano is uh, because I just, I just really like the sound of a piano. You have some of those piano songs. And I actually never listen to them, but if I do, it really chills you down. Depends on the song, of course. But if I would like to play one, it would be the the piano. But uh, I'm not playing any instrument, and I'm not planning uh, planning to do. And I don't create songs. No. I only listen to uh, dance music always. Dance mix. I always write dance mix, and I just choose a video. And today it's. Uh, from 2012 mix 60 do you like massa <laughs> dignitas massa yes I do uh, massa really at least in game I've never seen him uh, on an event or something he was going to uh, ESWC because he qualified but at the end he couldn't go too bad but uh, yeah I like uh, I like massa uh, he's a good guy he's a friend of me uh, in game of course I don't know him out game and uh, we uh, we really like playing with each other, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Well, what? Yeah, T T Tamarillo and Lipton Ice Tea. He. Uh, we, I think Tamarillo even prefers beer above Lipton Ice Tea. Well, that's for sure. <laughs> Actually, not not a doubt about that. Um, what do I drink when I'm at an event? Hmm. During the event, I never drink alcohol. Uh, that's a fact. When uh, Trackmania is over, I do drink alcohol, of course, maybe. But I'm not really a fan of uh, of beer. Uh, yes, I'm a guy, but I don't really like beer. I can have like one beer, and then that's enough. Um, most of the time I'm just drinking water when I'm at events or I just drink some, some something fresh like cola or something like that. Um, I don't really like... Uh, I don't know. If I go out of course then uh, then you'll drink some beers. Um, I don't go very out very often. Most of the time with friends we just chill at home, at someone's home and just uh, have a really nice evening or fun evening there. But. Um, no, I don't really like uh, alcohol or beer. I think I even prefer mix above beer, if I have to choose. I guess. So oh, yeah, not I'm not really a beer guy. I don't drink uh, a lot of beer, not even once a week. I think. <laughs> Let's see. Kunz, for you, what's the best tournament on Trackmania? <laughs> Joey is the leader of TMT, so... <sighs> the best tournament on Trackmania, and you mean online? Or offline? Or both, maybe. And in that meantime I'm waiting, I can answer the pineapple and an S question. And I can also tell you that's the same. <laughs> A pineapple is an ananas. I find, yeah, it is right. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind, I'm quite sure. Someone asked me that question earlier: pineapple or ananas? It's the same, like in Dutch, it's ananas, and then in another language, it's ananas, and then what's it in English? And then you say ananas, and then it's pineapple. It's it doesn't make sense, but it's yeah, it's true. Pineapple and ananas, it's the same. By the uh, default, what do you mean? Online or offline, best tournament? Because if I have to choose the best tournament for online, um, well, in my opinion, I like short maps, um, like maps of 40 seconds. Why? Because, uh, yeah, as we said earlier, I'm, I really learn fast and I just like to drive those short maps, fast paced. 
and uh, why the movie stop so and I think it's uh, hmm, TMT or TMM which fits in that cat uh, category but if we still have Nations Cup which we didn't had last year then Nations Cup would be on the number one position I just love to play to, to play with the, the best of the country you know all the differences between teams or whatever are gone you are just one team um, with your country and I really love the Nations Cup too bad it wasn't uh, being played last year but uh, if the Nations Cup is online then I'm definitely choose for the Nations Cup and if I have to choose an offline event then it would be probably that's the best question because I didn't play many offline tournaments uh, to be honest I only played land parties in the Benelux and my first event was ESWC I've ne I never been to an event before it was the first time ever I've been to an event uh, Actually, the first time I've been to an international event. All the land parties in the Benelux are, yeah, just land parties. Um, a lower level of drivers. And ESWC was my first big event. So I can actually only choose ESWC because I've never experienced all the others offline. The big events. Of course, uh, the small land parties in the Benelux can't, can't, can't be compared with ESWC. So. It would be ESWC, yeah. And if I have to choose between online and offline, then it's uh, offline for sure because I just like to meet new people, like to uh, to make some uh, some new friends, and uh, I like to see the other gamers in real life. So that would be an offline event for sure, and which I already said. Actually, uh, ESWC is my first was my first event real event so it would be ESWC because I don't know the others so yeah that would be my answer hmm. thinking about more short tournaments some ideas uh, you mean tips for the for the tournament things I've always wanted um, I think the organization of those tournaments is really good actually uh, I also the maps um, I think what you what you are doing with those short tournaments is like you uh, you choose the easiest maps for the first few rounds and how further you come how hard are the maps like the hardest maps are probably the maps in the final uh, at least that's what I notice when playing TMT or TMM uh, do I have more ideas? Um, I don't know. Oh wait, a new short tournament. Well, uh, by the way, considering TMT or TMM, I don't know how you test the maps. Uh, I don't know if you ask professional drivers or try yourself. You might want to know the opinion of uh, other people in games as well. Um, and then no little moment bloody I continue to the question of Joey um, because it's actually the same no new short tournament beside the main a new one so actually if I have to set up a tournament what would I do uh, considering short a short tournament I uh, I think I'd uh, I do the same as you I choose the easiest map at the start, the hardest map as the, at the finish. Um, you, you, I think TMT really has a good setup. I think it's a great tournament. Uh, you know, the admins are clear, everything is clear. And uh, I, I like the maps, there's really nothing wrong with it. So I don't really have some ideas or tips. <laughs> I think you, uh, you, you have my ideas. And, you already used the tips. <laughs> so yeah. Um, will I be at Gamescom this year? If Trackmania is being played, I will be at Gamescom. Yeah. Um, I only go to the events where uh, where nations or well nations where Trackmania will be played. 
So uh, I will go everywhere where Trackmania is being played. France, uh, maybe District Prague. I didn't hear anything about District Prague yet. Okay. Like the teams that lose on maybe to win TMT second division. Well, default. That's I, I think a very good idea. Um, maybe you can like. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, deficiencies. Um, I think. Yeah. Well, then it looks like CPS. Uh, if you are going to make deficiencies, of course. So you have to think about that. And also, for like the the the, the worst teams, not not noob teams, but teams that aren't as good as the professional teams, I guess. Like the the newbie teams, it's for them. It's really fun to play against a professional team they learn a lot from it and I don't think you have to put them in some kind of category because I think a newbie team can learn really much by playing against a professional team um, but maybe indeed if they lose against a, for example a professional team or another team then when they lose they get in an in like a loser bracket or something that might be an idea as well so they still have like a chance or an, indeed a second division maybe. I mean we all play for the honor. You win nothing by winning TMT. It's just for fun. Three or four pros plus you. Yeah that's fine. Then it's good. The maps are always good so nothing to complain. So yeah. Uh, yep, exactly. The average team really like to play against the professionals, of course. So, <coughs> yeah, it might be an idea as well. Loser, winner, division one, division two. Maybe that's something for uh, next season, at least after the season of February. Or maybe this one already. We can brainstorm about that, of course, with some other guys in Trackmania. So. Are there maybe any, any personal things people like to know? Ugh. Wow, we are already uh, we are already on for one hour. I didn't expect it that we had a question time of at least one hour <laughs> because I didn't expect it to have uh, a bunch of questions, really many. So we already uh, we already filled one hour with uh, with questions and watching movies on the right side, which is the grand final records at the moment. And of course, we have uh, some Facebook things here. Yeah, and this is my bike. Whoa. Love my bike. Oh, let's skip a bit back. Oh. <coughs> uh. Yeah, but maybe then, uh, you know, a loser bracket will finally have to play against the winners of the winner bracket. It's like an. Uh, the setup of an event. You can have a consolidation final and a winner bracket final and finally have the grand final. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was exactly what I was saying as well. Before reading what you said, actually. But uh, this is a stupid part of the song. It's almost done. Five minutes left. Then we go proceed to the next song. So, any things you still like to know from uh, Acer Kunz? 
any burning questions you always wanted to ask you know if you uh, if you don't have a question and you uh, still like to uh, to ask something afterwards or maybe the question pops up tomorrow just uh, ask me on Facebook that's no problem uh, what does my girl think well I uh, I don't have a girlfriend anymore no I uh, I broke up <coughs> two weeks ago. No, which which day is it? I think. Uh, yeah, uh, I, one and a half week ago, two weeks ago. Uh, you always have to listen to your feeling, and when your feeling isn't uh, isn't all right when being together, then uh, yeah, and also when when yeah. It's just like that. Also, when when you are a bit curious to someone else, it's not good. Which I uh, I was curious. I am curious to uh, someone, and uh, it just didn't didn't work out. The feeling wasn't alright, and when the feeling isn't good, then uh, you shouldn't keep her on a line. So yeah, I uh, I stopped it. Unfortunate timing before Christmas, but. Uh, it was the best decision. So I don't have a girlfriend. No. <coughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. Um, I I was already wondering how Tama and Spam and uh, like Snick etc. got all their sponsors on their screen and the layout, and I just I don't want to spend so much time in. Uh, putting effort in, in my in my stream because the people that like to watch me will watch me anyway it's not about oh well if my stream looks better if I have more sponsoring on my Facebook somewhere etc more people will watch I don't think that's true maybe the stream is more beautiful but after all it's about the quality of the stream and about the person streaming so uh, and if people uh, like me streaming or talking or whatever then they will watch whatever my layout is but I will definitely reach you because maybe it's uh, it's a good idea to change uh, the layout at the moment I'm having nothing like it's uh, me myself and I on the webcam and uh, yeah just my monitor at the moment and I got a boss background just bam <laughs> love my uh, I love my background. Now I have to. Uh, oops. Where's my question? There we go. <coughs> yeah, no problem, yours. I mean, that's just the way it is. Uh, if something doesn't work out, then it's uh, just like that. Listen to your feelings, and uh, yeah. If your feeling says no, then uh, you have to think about it. And I did a lot, and. Uh, yeah, I uh, I ended it, but there's just uh, I'm also curious to someone else, and you can't be in a relationship while being curious to someone else. It's just wrong. And also, my feeling wasn't good, so I ended it anyway. <laughs> Stay strong. Yeah, I will, of course. And I I know there are. Uh, it's not a it's not a handful, but but a country full. It's like it's it's a Dutch expression or a Dutch sentence. It's hard to say. Yeah, it's not hard to say it in English, but to bring it in English, like uh, not a handful, but a country full or a land full, whatever. And uh, there is there is someone I'm curious about, so or interested in. Let's put it like that. <coughs> Yeah, you already asked it. <laughs> you had it in your naming game. Do you want to marry me? No, I don't default. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to marry you. Um I uh, I like girls. I don't I don't fall for boys. I fall for girls. Um uh, maybe a certain type of girls, but I don't uh <laughs> Sorry. I won't marry a boy. <laughs> That's a, a sure thing. Let me get another mix for a moment. Yeah, a magical mystery thing. 
There we go. <laughs> so too bad I have to uh, neglect your uh, your uh, you? your uh, you won't get my hand or something. They say it like that. <laughs> Oh, you're not! <laughs> How surprising! <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's almost 10 past 2. We did a good job here. And we aren't done yet actually. I mean if Frostbuilder would do a stream like this and he has like 100 plus viewers, he would he, he can fill like 24 hours of answering questions. <laughs> that's just, that's crazy. I'm happy I don't have the same. If I have to be st to answer all those questions, Frostbuilder would get... Woo. Outlast. Uh, I think that's a horror game, right? Isn't it? Outlast. Can I download that game? It's like uh, somewhere. I uh, probably I can. Oh, yeah. Ten dollars, twelve dollars on Steam. Probably I can download it anyway somewhere. It's an horror game, yeah. It might be a funny idea to play this game. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. But when playing a game, you are really inside the game, and then it's uh, it's even uh, it's it's really getting scared, probably. Okay, just uh, I, I will uh, try to get a download of it. Maybe I will find some time to play it. Outlast. Outlast. Yeah, I have to buy it. With lights off and with camera. Well, uh, at the moment it's quite dark as, uh, here as well. But the reason for that is that I close some uh, some screens so the light doesn't get in the room. Because if the light gets on the the camera, you won't see me. You just see the light. So you can see like uh, on the back there. Whoops. Whoop. There. This this window. I put the screen down. Same as uh, yeah, this one. Else you have too much light and uh, <laughs> then you can't see my uh, my face expressions or uh, see me talking or whatever. And well, that's what uh, what the stream is about, of course, at the moment, since it's uh, it's question time. <coughs> so let's see. Uh, are we uh, are we through all the questions actually? Or any last, uh, yeah, you also told me maybe it's a good idea to give me, uh, give opinions. Yes, yeah, sure, if you have uh, some things. Oh, you have, uh, you have Outlast on, uh, on your Steam. Yeah, that might be possible as well. Like, uh, or I will try to download it, because I won't, uh, I won't buy a game. At least I won't buy Outlast. So uh, yeah, well, we can try uh, we can try that sometime as well. That would, uh, I will use your stream to play Outlast, uh, but let's uh, let's check about that uh, another time. I quite have a busy stream today as well. Later, I don't know if I will be online this uh, this evening. Do I have questions for you? Well, let's see. We uh, I d of course I have uh, I have no idea. Is watching. I have nine viewers, but I don't know exactly who 
all of you are. Um, let me uh, let me think. Do I have a question for you? Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, what's your favorite game? I'm quite curious about that. Um, my favorite games are like Trackmania and uh, Modern Warfare 2, and I don't really play much more. But what is your favorite game? Is it Trackmania indeed? Or do you just play Trackmania for fun and you actually like another game more? Or maybe you play Trackmania because you are very good in it, but m you actually prefer another game. So what are your favorite... Uh, what's your favorite game? And maybe uh, you can give me some ideas about games if I ask this question. And do I like theme parks? Yeah, I do. Um, but I, I, if there's, if there are no roller coasters in a theme park, uh, then it's boring. <laughs> I, uh, I, I really like to, uh, to be in a roller coaster. I like speed, and uh, roller coasters are are great. I like loopings and all those those weird things a roller coaster is doing. And if there are no roller coasters inside a theme park, then for me it's like, um, yeah. It's just maybe it's just fun to visit, and it's fun to uh, enjoy all the other attractions. But uh, roller coasters are my favorite attractions in theme parks. And, uh, <clears throat> so if there's a roller coaster, it's uh, then it's fine. And of course, a theme park is more than a roller coaster. I mean, I like uh, Disney uh, Disneyland, for example. Of course, there are some roller coasters, but I like other things as well. My favorite attraction is a roller coaster, but I think a theme park is more, of course, than just one attraction. And uh, I love theme parks. Yeah, <laughs> love going out to a theme park. I don't do it a lot. As long as it's not boring, it's fine. <laughs> Trackmania League of Legends, Trackmania Risk of Rain, Modern Warfare 1, 2. Wolfenstein, lol. So I see two times League of Legends. Um, just to be honest, I really have no idea how Le League of Legends works. Uh, I, I, in my eyes, it's really a lot of colors and uh, some. Yeah, the, those characters are shooting some colors, and I have no idea how it works. I never try to understand it, <laughs> but I uh, think it's. Uh, I never played it as well. It's a hard game, I guess. And I don't know the game Risk of Rain. And I don't... Yeah, I, yeah, I heard of Wolfenstein, but I never played it. And Modern Warfare 1 and 2, yeah, of course, I uh, I do play Modern Warfare 1 and... Uh, or 2, at least, not 1. What What is Risk of Rain? And what is Wolfenstein? I thought Wolfenstein is like a shooter. I think on the ESWC, I uh, I also saw a bunch of people playing Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein ter territory or, or whatever. It's rela <laughs> relaxing after a Turkmenia match. Yeah, yeah, I I know how how LOL looks like. Um, oh, what? The f oh, LOL. It's what the fuck is League of Legends? Wow, he made a full video of it. Yeah, um, I, w I will learn you something about me as well. Um, my favorite games are racing games. Uh, I don't really like tactical games, too much thinking. <laughs> I like to play racing games. Uh, yeah, that's my, that's my first choice. And beside racing games, I also like shooters. But uh, racing games are probably number one, and then shooters are number two, and those tactical things or thinking games are uh, somewhere at the bottom. <laughs> oh, risk of rain, let's see. Risk of rain. Uh, what a funny game, it almost looks like some kind of Mario. Probably way more difficult as well. <laughs> I 
Yeah, Wolfenstein enemy territory. Yeah, exactly an old shooter. I uh, I saw that game on ESWC. There was some new Wolfenstein enemy territory being published at ESWC, and there was like a waiting line of around half an hour to just play that game for for one or two minutes. Crazy how people stand in lines at ESWC to play a game. The the longest line I saw, the longest waiting line I saw at SWC was for uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. It was like one and a half hours, <laughs> or one hours, just to play a game. And you are allowed to play maybe uh, <laughs> a few minutes. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe even Risk of Rain is for me uh, more fun to play than League of Legends. I don't know, I don't have really much to do with uh, tactical games. Uh, I just, I really like racing games. I always like racing. I, I wanted to do, I, I wanted to be a, a, a racing guy like Formula 1 or DTM, whatever. Um, but I was not allowed to do karting because it was too expensive, of course. <laughs> I mean, you have to pay the whole card and the, the wheels and the fuel yourself. So it's very, uh, very expensive. Uh, let's see, body coins. Ah, yeah, the interview part with average players on Skype. Um, sure, I can do that, and for me, it's it's really no problem to. Uh, at least I, I think it would be really fun to do but I also need the time to do it and I really have a, a busy live stream I, uh, I have two jobs I'm on university uh, playing professional gaming as well and I have time with friends to spend um, and when I play Trackmania most of the time I'm training because I just have to uh, because I don't really have much time to play Trackmania if I play Trackmania, I just have to train Trackmania. So, if I'm going to interview average players or good players or maybe some of some low players we never heard about, I have to do that when I have uh, enough time to make it happen. And of course, an interview can take like five minutes, but still, I guess you know what I mean. It it takes time to uh, to do it. And time issues, uh, now it's holidays, so I have the time, but when the university starts, uh, I have less time again. So I have to I have to look for that. Uh, I do like your ID default. Indeed, you already asked me uh, earlier, I think uh, somewhere uh, a few days ago, and I gave uh, gave the same answer. But it's a, uh, it is a good idea, and it would be really fun to do, and I only have to, uh, to see if, if I have the time to make it happen. That's the uh, most important thing. <coughs> nine nine hours to to stand in the line for Call of Duty Ghosts? I don't I I can barely believe it. Nine hours to wait in a line for Gamescom Call of Duty. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Risk of rain, hard but enjoyable. Yeah, I never played it. As a, a girlfriend on my univer university, they, they all know I'm a professional uh, gamer for Team Acer. And uh, actually, many friends of me and also families watched me uh, playing the grand final of the ESWC. But there's one girl on university and she said something about uh, bad as Mario or something. Which sounded really funny, super bad as Mario. I don't know. It's pro apparently it's a no. It's not this one. Apparently it's a very hard edition of uh, Super Mario. Mario bad as it had a name. It's on my on my mobile, I guess. Let me. Uh, I, f I put it in my mobile. Bad as Mario. Oh no, asshole Mario.
it's a, a very hard edition of uh, Super Mario. It looks the same, but I'm also interested in uh, going to play uh, play this. It's really fun to play really hard. Uh, I, I like playing Mario. <laughs> it's like Cat Mario, but then with normal Mario. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's really a hard game, and uh, I've never played it, but I might download this one as well, just for fun. Cat Mario is very hard as well, and this one is very hard as well, and that that's interesting. <laughs> and you will never see me rage. I'm not really a ragey guy. You might have seen that uh, if I uh, if I'm annoyed when driving a match or whatever, I'm I'm getting more quiet. I will never throw with things or whatever. I just get quiet, more quiet. <coughs> Call of Duty Ghost, a longer line. Uh, then Assassin's Creed. Eight hours. I would never do it. I just won't stand in the line for such a long time to play a, a game. Okay, let me check your games. Kaizo Mario. Oh, what are we doing? Kaizo Mario. Speedrun. So this one is a very hard one as well, I guess. Or it's... Oh wait, it's the same, yeah. Oh no. Wow. That's... that's... That... It, that looks so no life. That's just... That's just amazing. Wow, if I have to, to play like that... God... Kai Kaizo Mario... <laughs> I wanna be a bossy? I wanna be the Boshi. Doing a speed run and still playing for one hour. When does it start? He, he's, he's playing that question mark thing. The Boshi. I I don't know this game. But uh yeah, definitely you can see it's a speed run. Crazy. <laughs> I never did speed runs yet. So yeah, I uh oh man. We already filled almost one and a half hours, but soon I uh, I have to uh, to go as well. I uh, still have to write someone a Facebook message, and uh, which let's see can be seen by that little one. And um, I also have some things with work to do as well. I uh, I will have a New Year's drink on my work and we also go out of uh, out to dinner somewhere this evening yum 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 too bad we have to pay it our own but uh, it's just for the fun so that's fine that's fine I love holiday doing nothing do whatever you want line ri <laughs> line rider I can do line that's that's that game you can paint your own 
Line Rider, yeah, I guess. But I uh, I saw some movies, and it's just crazy how some people can uh, can make this, how they can paint like that. Humble bundle. <laughs> What's a humble bumble? <laughs> like a humble bundle. It's like uh, you can buy them both for a cheaper price than bu buying them both separately, I guess. Let's check this uh, guy out. I don't understand how people can paint so accurately. Look, he's doing a nose. A stoppy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I, uh, it's nothing for me to, uh, to, to paint like this. <laughs> I'm not so good in painting. Neither am I in photoshopping. <laughs> A humble bundle. A humble bundle. Get nine incredible games. So if you support charity, you get a game. That's. Subscribe. No, I don't need to subscribe. Bundles. What's the humble store? Ah, oh, like it. Okay, a humble bundle. I really never heard of it. Heard of it. Awesome time limit, pay what you want sales. Yeah, well, I think uh, Nadeo, of course, wants to get uh, profit out of their sales. And if you do a pay whatever you like, then probably they uh, won't get enough money. How to allocate the money between the content creators, charity, and the humble tip. Copy pass master, yeah. Um, yeah, of course you. I, I have some contacts inside Nadeo, uh, but I don't think that uh, Nadeo would uh, would do something like this. Of course, they want to get profit out of their games, and when people will choose uh, to get to to make their own prices for a game, I guess uh, they won't get enough profit. I'm afraid. Yeah, that might be true as well. Uh, maybe more people will buy the game. Um, Trackmania 2 isn't so popular, um, but well, maybe there should be like a, mi a, mi a minimum. So uh, at least pay one euro or something like that. Uh, because if I had the option to play Trackmania 2 for one euro, I would just go for one euro. Maybe. I don't know. I, of course, uh, you want to. Uh, you want that you want to support Nadeo, so probably not one euro then, I guess. But that's uh, it's it's. I think it's hard for a creator like Nadeo to do something like that because it's really unsure how much you will get. And maybe they will uh, they will earn more. Maybe they have more sales. Like even if it's two euros for the game, more people buy it, and finally they will 
have more profit out of it, but I uh, I don't know. Maybe they already looked at it. You know, asking is always possible. If they do it, that's the second thing. So yeah, I uh, I think I'm uh, I'm going to close down the stream. Still uh, still some things to do, and like I said, I have to answer someone on, uh, on Facebook. I have a message to write, which takes uh, which takes some time as well, some time. And um, soon I will also uh, go to work for the New Year's Eve uh, or the New Year drink or whatever. I'll go out to dinner later today. At least we had a one and a half hour question time and opinion and whatever, everything uh, came by and it was actually one and a half hour of not gaming. And uh, yeah, it was nice uh, doing something like this. So uh, many things came by and uh, I had a fun time doing this. Maybe uh, someday in the evening I will uh, do another question time. Because of course people uh, are doing some things on their day instead of watching streams. <laughs> so, uh, and in the evening more people have time, so maybe there are even more questions than today. But if I don't uh, stop the stream, I'm sure I, uh, we can talk for uh, even a longer time. So, uh, yeah, I will uh, close, uh, close the stream down a little. And I uh, will thank you for watching and definitely thank you for... Uh, giving me some uh, some questions to answer and uh, just interacting with you guys as uh, as viewers so uh, yeah thank you 2013 let's go for a nice 2014 and don't uh, don't stop gaming go go so uh, I, I would say have a nice day have a nice holiday and uh, you will see me at the next stream that's uh, that's a sure thing so thanks for asking questions, thanks for watching the stream now, and uh, I will see you next time.